somebody asked me the other day, oh, Shaq couldn't play today, but you're not paying attention. I am playing today. My name is Greek Freak. Giannis is an all-time great. With his work ethic and hunger for greatness, he continues to get better every year. Some people say he's the most dominant force in the NBA. When you go out there on the court, he's a killer. The mother dominates. <laughs> From his unparalleled athleticism to his dedication to the game, Giannis captures admiration of the fans around the world. But what do NBA players and legends have to say about Giannis? Being in the East for so long before I went to San Antonio playing against Giannis and seeing the development to where he is now, it's remarkable the effort that you see he put in to want to be great. It's something that as a basketball fan and or if I'm someone else who's trying to make it, let me see how dedicated he was. Because he, I remember when he first came to the league, he was just a skinny kid. You would push him around. Didn't really know how to play basketball. Didn't know how to play basketball. But there was something there. It was something there. But a lot of people have something there. That don't necessarily mean they find it. You could tell the dedication and how bad he wanted. Even to this day, you could just see how bad he wants it. You could see it physically, his demeanor. When he go out there on the court, he's a f***ing killer. The mother dominates. <laughs> Like, what more do you want me to say? Giannis travels too much. Giannis plays bully ball. Giannis can't make free throws. Giannis can't shoot jumpers. Great. Favorite player to watch today? Yep. Uh, something about Giannis that attracts me to him. I've never seen a player like him in my life. You look at him, you said, oh my gosh, if this guy could shoot a little bit more consistently, particularly free throws, I love him as a player. Mm -hmm. If you watch their team, they follow him. Remember early in the year, they would take him out. He'd start a game, play two minutes, they'd take him out for four minutes mm -hmm. right? because he was hyperventilating. That tells me something about him, that he has some extra juice inside of him. Dennis is a special kind of talent. You know, not only offensively, but defensively. And he can be the best at both ends of the floor. And then he has that rare combination of not just physical talent and skill, but also the determination and the will. And has a work ethic to go along with it. I don't think it's a stretch to say he's going to go down as a top 15 player ever. I don't think it's a stretch to say he has a really good chance to be in the conversation as a top 10 player of all time. By the time he's 30, probably be the best player in the game. Probably be one of the best players ever. What I like about it is that he wants it. A lot of guys now are in the league just to be in the league. And I was the type of player that if you asked me who the best player was, I'm going to say myself. Like a lot of guys would be like, LeBron, KD. But this kid doesn't believe that. He believes that he's the best player in the game. That is what competition is all about. That's how you're supposed to play. I like his game. On those position, Kendra said he was a point center. That's kind of why I said he was better than me at the age of 24. Because at 24, I was just doing big man stuff. He's doing guard stuff, playing defense on the perimeter that are switching, so he's actually much better than I was at 24. The way Giannis has developed as such a willing passer, willing to bait defenses, when he sees a guy open, the ball doesn't stick. He's swinging that basketball. See, Giannis is a hell of a passer. <laughs> Being Giannis able to... had it? Yeah. He a Euro step, dunk off four people. Next time like you throw four people in there, you go to dunk it, he just... I, just I, I don't like his no look. That's the only thing I don't like. <laughs> his no look, he be like... <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> special at that right there. Giannis be like... Yeah. <laughs> but no, nah, Giannis is a hell of a passer, bro. Hell of a passer. When he finds people, why they don't even know they're open. He finds them and, and gets them the ball. Lots of ones is his biggest fan. He, you know, he's Nigerian. Yeah. And he said, he green me. heard of uh, the couple. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got the chance to see him play, and he's everything that they want up there in Wisconsin. I, I wish him well. You know, Karim Abdul Jaban, uh, all time needed score. It's a, it's a compliment, and uh, it's a lot of hard work that paid off, but uh, I got to keep, you know, staying humble you know if i stay humble stay hungry and keep enjoying the game good things go on for me and for my teammates did you make the playoffs the first year yeah with, in with detroit, detroit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah you got up out of there y'all got up out of there four games gone Giannis. yeah i would say game three was lit yeah and then game four everybody knew it was over <laughs> so they ain't show up <laughs> <laughs> game four it was over game three you come out lit the best i ever seen shout out season. detroit fans man y'all realists out there game four it's a we ain't even going to the game, bro. Selling my I team. mean, but no game was close. I started my NBA career 0-12 against Giannis. Yeah. And I don't think any of them was close. <laughs> Damn. I didn't win until I got to Brooklyn against the Bucks. It's like he, he don't got no bag. Like, mm -hmm. he's just missed the run and dunk. Like, yeah. Young, step in your I chest. Won, I won like that. Like that? I, just I won a championship like that. If I accomplish something at the highest level, doing it one way, why right. would I change it? I'm too far in my career to try to get a, a one-two handle. Like, if he had a handle, like, he would be That'd the... Be crazy. We, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, what do we... We can't give him everything. I hate to tell you guys, there is 
no perfect basketball player. There is no basketball player without zero flaws in their game. None. You can't nitpick with greatness. You can tell how he's still humble. All he wants to do is play basketball and learn. You hear in his interviews, I caught him early, before his MVP, before his All-Stars. I didn't know he was going to be this good. I knew he had an all-star potential. I mean, when he called out, you got to look at the clip. He called out Carmelo with a one to guard him, and he goes at him. He holds his own. Any person that's crazy enough to call out a superstar at that time yeah. and hold your own and you have the tools, you're going to make it. I yeah. think he's going to be this MVP candidate. No, I didn't. And I think he's going to be an all-star for sure. You can see it coming. A 6'11 guy, the Greek freak, where a mixture between Shaq is now passing the ball, his dominance, and offensively, defensively. A guy who really doesn't care. Doesn't care if he gets dunked on. Really cares about winning and his teammates. His hunger, man. He's a tireless worker. The tools he has just physically, his length, his size, his athleticism, his balance, his ability to recover. He hyperextended his knee. Yeah. And we thought, damn. It's over. We see our whole trophy go before our eyes. He can't pop. And he came back. <sighs> that like, took me out. Plastic, he came man. back. When you look at that in slow motion and nasty. see what his knee did, mm -mm, like... Mm -mm. Playing with Giannis is great. You know, you'll find you run the floor. He can go 50, 40 points on any given night. He's a guy that's relentless. Whoever gave him the name, the Greek Freak done a great job of that. So the hyper extend his knee, come back and dominate for the finals like he did. That's remarkable, and, and that's something that I'm going to remember, and I think everybody around the world is going to remember for a long time. But mm. that, again, that's a testament to him, the work he puts in on his body, him constantly working on his game, that jump shot is going to go continue to go in and go in at a higher clip mm -hmm. as he gets older. He just wanted to learn more about basketball, and I just remember during timeouts at a young age asking me, hey, what do I see on the floor? So I would give him hints of the back line of the defense of how they're playing you and how you, know, you got to be able to take that bump. And one or two years after I left the weight room, he's taking that bump. Not only is he taking he's now delivering it. It's a lot of athletes in the game that you see super athletic, but what separates you from the pack? He was digging a little deeper than everybody else. I saw him working on his game like around the clock, in the morning, before everybody, afterwards, coming back to the gym late evenings. They didn't even have transportation at the time. He used to walk to the gym, he used to carpool and ask for rides. And he lived in there. I mean, he would go to sleep in the mill room. He would, I mean, he did everything. Like he would go in the garbage and, you know, like, are you throwing these shoes away? And he just did everything that he possibly could do to move the needle in his process of becoming a better version of Giannis. Giannis really is uh, someone who taught himself how to play the game. If, you know, from what I understand, he, he just went to the gym and messed around with it until he figured a few things out. That has made me kind of angry because I, I feel like I was overcoached. You get the rebound, you better not try and take it down the other end of the court. That was like gospel when I played. Giannis is blowing through all of that and opening the game up. So I'm happy he's done that, but I'm annoyed that it wasn't in time for me to try to get in on the fight. <laughs> I love this kid. He wants to compete. You know, a lot of people concede about who the best is. One day you're going to say this league belongs to me, and that's where he is now. Like, I know there's a couple names above him, but one day we will say Giannis is the best player in the league, period. Who's the best player in the game right now? I think I might say Giannis. I know he impacts both sides. And, like, we all have off nights, but I feel like when he has an off night, it's still 25 and 15 instead of 40 and 20. And he's won. He's won a championship. I would say Giannis, too, for sure. To me, it's between KD and, and Giannis. I mean, Giannis is incredible. Giannis is the one superstar you see, Shannon, that every single year he comes back better. And the only reason why I give Giannis the edge is because of his defensive side of the game. I mean, if you look at KD's efficiency and how amazing he is on the offensive end, Giannis still still putting up, may not be as efficient, but he's still putting up monster numbers on the offensive end. But then also he's a defensive monster too. Yeah. So I just think Giannis is a better defender. So I have to give Giannis that nod and Giannis is younger too. There's no weaknesses. I'm a guard. I'm going to stop you, and you can't stop me. I'm going to go at you on the other end. Both sides. Unstoppable right. on both sides. So I don't think two-way guys get that much of a credit because you see the flashiness in the game. You see the offense. The offense gets all the credit in the game right. because of the highlights, because of the flashiness. And that's why Milwaukee's been pretty good this year. Like They got guys that play both ends, and it's tough. Chris Middleton, Giannis. Guys play both ends. I respect him because he does it the right way. Mm. He's a great player. He doesn't cry. He doesn't complain. He doesn't try to join the super teams. He said, no, I don't want to play with LeBron. I want to beat him. And then, like, if you look at his story. Poor as poor can be in Greece. Poor as poor can be. Selling stuff on the side of the road. Yeah, so to do that, to come where you are, I really respect him. The way that Giannis works is like a battery pack. He just never stops coming at you. 
when you see him when he first came into play, how skinny he was, and then if you see him now, his shoulders are like like they just never stop. And then his arm, like the length of his arms never stop. He doesn't back down from anybody. And one person, and you know how I live. That dude likes to lift. He's in the weight room all the time. He's like, and his legs, they're not strong enough. We gotta go more. I'm like, wait, what? We're two, we're three of us in the same. What are you? What are you talking about? No, we're just maintaining now. Like, we're not trying to add strength. He looks like some, a guy who just lives at the gym. He don't even look like he has a house or apartment. He looks like he literally lives at the gym. What is in a weight room or what is working on his game. I mean, he's just, it's phenomenal to see a young guy like that just, you know, grow. And he doesn't look satisfied at all. You know, each year he looks even more hungrier. So he's put himself in a position, obviously, to be an MVP candidate, you know, to compete for a championship. Kudos to him for that. My head goes all to the work that he's put in for him. He really wants to be the best. So him taking fadeaways or turner rounds, 15 foot jump shots, like one dribble pull ups, like he really practices that every day, like faithfully every day. His work ethic, he really wants to be the best player in the world. Players like Giannis, I mean, these are guys that are really working to strive to do that. And you see the improvements in their game from it. And that, that's all my, my mentality is, is just trying to get better every single day. It's a way of life. It's not an attitude per se, but it's a way to live. Just trying to get better every single day. It's not something where you, you know, you live with like a bravado or anything like that. It's just the simplest form of just trying to get better at whatever it is that you're doing. He's always driven. He's always looking to get better. No matter what he does, I believe there's a certain humility you should carry at all times, no matter what you accomplish, and he always does that. You see his interviews after, and I believe it's genuine. Watching his journey, he's one of my favorite players because his number are like video game numbers, right? Like going to get 50 in one of the last games of the season. He is already one of the top 15 players ever, and he has so much more to go, and I think he'll continue to impress us, and he'll continue to do it with humility. Man, he's the most humble, elite player I've ever been around in my life. He's humble. He, bring, he has fun on social media. You use it like that, but he don't dump on nobody else. He yeah. don't hate on nobody else. You know what I'm saying? He's he's respectful and thankful for everything he gets, and he works his tail off man, every day, so, every single day. Nobody plays harder than him. Nah. Nobody. Nah. Have you had any moments with Giannis where you're like, what the f***? Oh, all the time. I mean, there's been games where he takes one dribble like from half court and then just dunks the ball. Damn near from the free throw line. And I'm like, you know he has that long step and that gather step and it kind of looks like a travel and whatever it is. But even with the travel, I wouldn't be able to do that. And I think I'm a pretty good athlete. Witness him do these things night in and night out. The fan in me steps back at times during the game and I'm like, wow, did he just do that? He really should be like in Space Jam. He really should. Where like your arm just stretches and your legs are like, it's some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen. But the one that gets me with him, like when he's underneath the basket, doing a Euro off of one foot, going the opposite way from the rim, and he'll just dunk the ball one-handed. It, like the body contortion and balance and strength, that's what I've really never seen. He wants that contact and like invites that contact. And then for him to be able to do that as fast as you can, and then not really be able to guess which Euro to which way he's going to go. It's insane. This fool is it. I mean, he's a freak. I think he's the best player in the league, hands down. I think no question. He's the first big man that I've seen average 27-13 without post moves. So he's a point big man, the new era of basketball for big guys. He's playing at the top of the key, very unconventional. But what I like, he reads the defense very well. And he does nice what he's defense. supposed to do as uh, a big guy. Just take it right to the hole. Everybody's saying, yeah, but he needs to work on the jumper. Forget that. You don't need to do that. You need to do this right here. This is why you're shooting 55, 56% from the field because even though you, you're not post moving, you're still doing what big men do. You're taking high percentage shot game. 